Hello and welcome to Hindi News. This is Ratnakar with English Bulletin, sharing the information about city and around. The news in detail. The minor accused who murdered his girlfriend's grandmom and younger brother over a family's refusal to accept their relationship has reportedly ended his life by committing suicide on Mankapur railway track under Gitti Khadan police station. His body was found off the track early morning on Friday. The minor boy had slit the throat of his girlfriend's 70-year-old grandmother and her 10-year-old brother on Thursday. The deceased are Lakshmi Bai Durve, about 70 years, and Yash Durve, about 10 years old. Cops said that the minor accused was in relationship with the girl. Girl's family was against men's relationship with her. For the past couple of days, Lakshmi didn't let her contact the boy. Furious over this, the accused reportedly approached the girl's residence and in a fit of rage slit the throat of Lakshmi and Yash with sharp edge weapon before fleeing the spot. Participating in a nationwide protest being held against the proposed amalgamation of allopathy with Ayurveda, homeopathy and other medical disciplines, members of the Indian Medical Association closed all non-emergency medical services on Friday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. in Nagpur city and its vicinity. Protesting against the maxopathy, which allows Ayurvedic practitioners to use and prescribe modern medicines and above all grant them right to perform general surgery in ophthalmology, ENT, etc. being promoted by the Central Council of Indian Medicines, Dr. Attached to IMA Nagpur had already hold peaceful protests to promote squares in the second capital of the state on December 8. Doctors in the small groups wearing white coats and holding posters and banners protesters against the notification that allows Ayurveda postgraduate students to conduct as many as 58 type of surgeries were seen on this occasion. Police recruitment is an option of providing employment opportunities to young men and women in rural areas, a camp providing information from both physical and intelligence point of view that is required to be admitted to the police was organized at the Lakotia Butala Jr. here by Suhas Foundation. Home Minister Anil Deshmukh inaugurated the free training camp in the college premises, during which SP of Nagpur district Rakesh Ola was present as the chief guest. Training will be for a duration of two months, starting from December 12th from 7 to 9 a.m. by the Suhas Foundation. As per information, this training is free of cost. The personnel under training will be imparted training about various areas concerning police recruitment training, international gold medalist Devashish Anandrao Jaipurkar too was greeted and tributed were paid to Martyr Bhushan Satai on this occasion. On behalf of Shiv Sena Dakshin Pashtim Vidhan Sabha, a Danka Andolan was organized recently. A delegation of Shiv Sena activists recently met NMC officials and sought replies from them regarding alleviation of people's problems. Shiv Sena always stands beside the citizens. The Ganta Gadi, located at Rajiv Gandhi Square, is inoperational since the last several years. There are no officials to take stock of people's grievances. There are pits or various portions of road in Paryavaran Nagar and Sarvatra Nagar. Therefore, the citizens have to face problems during commutation. In concrete road in area of the city like Sham Nagar, there are pits which is hazardous for the citizens and it's giving invitation to disaster. A delegation of Shiv Sena activists led by Office bearers Pravin Barbukun Sharma met Nagpur Municipal Corporation officials and demanded immediate action in this concern. Well, that's all from this bulletin. But before we go, let us take a look of Corona update today. Today, 398 persons find positive for coronavirus, while 11 succumb to COVID-19. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnagar says goodbye. Please stay. Very good care of yourself and family.